What's up everybody, this is John from Rockwood Games and I'm coming to you today because I'm hoping to help the rest of you who are having the same problem that I was with your Colossus card from Hobpog. It is a capture card that you put inside your computer unlike the uh, Hobpog PVR systems that are external through USB or whatever other devices that they have out. Uh, this is an internal capture card much like a regular video card except for it's used for just capturing uh, video and audio. Um, I am using Sony Vegas, and those of you who are using Sony Vegas and are having problems with audio being inputted to Vegas after you capture from this card, from uh, the Hot Pod Colossus card, you will probably get the same errors that I was getting and the same issues, which is where the audio does not show up. Now this is one of our templates that we have for our gaming videos. So I already have some stuff on my timeline as far as texting and, and the intros and stuff go for our videos, but if you uh, capture a video with this card, and we have, uh, we'll pull one of these from NHL 13 from the Xbox 360. Um, if you take this file that we've captured with the Colossus card from Hot Pog and we drag it into Vegas, uh, a lot of you will probably have the same problem where, oh look, the video's there, but there's no audio track that comes in with it, which should be right down underneath it right here. We have the video feed right here, but there's no audio track. Now, if you were to open up this file, inside of VLC Media Player or Windows Media Player or basically any other kind of program to watch the video you will hear the audio with it. The problem is is that the Colossus card somewhere between the card itself and the ArcSoft software that comes with it does not write the audio in a codec that Vegas will read properly. There are other uh, video editing software out there that does just fine with these but for some reason, Vegas does not pick up on the audio tracks of these uh, written files. I have called Hobpog Tech Support many times over the last couple years to try to figure out a, a solution, and the only thing that they can seem to tell me is to download the latest version of all the software and the drivers, which I have already done, and it does not help. There are people online, and I've looked endlessly for uh, you know ways to fix this issue, and there are other people online that are saying that you have to re-render the entire video to get the audio to play correctly. Although that is a possibility for you to fix the problem, it's also very time consuming because when you have to re-render video, especially longer videos, it can take a long time, especially if you don't have a fast computer. Now this computer, I am running a 6-core Phenom 2 1100T processor with 16 gigabytes of RAM. So this processor is actually pretty fast and I can do renders for video pretty, pretty efficiently but it still does take time and you don't want to have to re-render a video just to start editing it and getting uh, your videos on YouTube or uh, DVD or Blu-ray, whatever it is you're trying to do. Now this isn't just for game capturing, this is for all kinds of formats. I've tried capturing from cable boxes, direct TV boxes, and this issue has always been there. So to fix it, as you can see, once again, we have our Vegas video in here with no audio. So you're gonna, uh, the only thing you're gonna have to do, instead of re-rendering the entire video and taking up more time, we're gonna re-render just the audio using a program called Format Factory. Format Factory is an open source free program. I will leave the link for you in the description of this video. This is the program right here. As you can see, you open it up, this program is just a converter for all kinds of files and formats. You have your audio, your video, pictures, and Blu-ray and DVD ROM devices. Basically this program will take whatever it is that you have and format it into a different format. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up this program. This will be the main interface you see. This is version 3.3.5. This is the latest version of the recording of this video. You're gonna come down here to the audio tab. When you open up the audio tab, we're gonna come up here to AAC and we're gonna click on that. This is gonna bring up the AEC box. So from here, we're gonna wanna go to our folder where our video is at. Okay, and this is the video we dragged and dropped in Vegas that didn't have any audio attached to it, so we're going to drag and drop it into Format Factory into the AAC box. Now up here it says high quality is what it's going to render down to, but you're still going to want to do a couple things after this because it doesn't exactly give you the quality that you want, which is setting it to automatic. You're going to go to Output Settings, and even though this says high quality, it still needs a little bit of tweaking because it, 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 it renders it down into... Um, an audio file that kind of sounds like it's over, you know, like you're listening to it over somebody's phone or something like that. It's very, very AM radio-ish where it's not very high quality. So instead of leaving all these to automatic, we're going to come down here and we're going to go to 44100 for the sample rate. For uh, the bit rate, 
You can experiment here if you want to between 128 and 192, but I like to have my files as best as possible for my editing and rendering process, so I click 192. And for the channel mode, uh, you're going to want to go to two channel stereo. When you have that all done, you're going to want to click OK. And then you're going to come up here and you're going to click OK. This is going to add that into the queue list. Now to start rendering this into a new audio file, now all it's going to do is it's going to take the audio from the video that was captured on the HobPog files, uh, on the original file that the HobPog Colossus card captured. And this can also be done if your PVR2 or your PVR systems are doing the same thing with Vegas. This works for pretty much all the formats. So once you have this in the queue, you're going to come up here and you're going to click Start. And with a 6-core processor, and my processor is busy doing other things, but as you can see, this is going extremely fast. And this is taking just the audio off of that video and rendering it into just a new audio track for us to use inside Vegas for the video. Okay, guys, here we are just a few seconds later, and you can see we're at 84% and counting. Uh, when this is at 100%, you're going to hear Format Factory give off this music tone to tell you that it's all done. So once you hear that sound, you're good to go. You're going to want to close Format Factory. You're going to want to take the audio file, and you're going to want to drag and drop it into your Vegas timeline. And as you can see, the audio file pops right up. Now you're going to want to move it. You want to snap it right at the beginning of this, so that way they line up equally together. Now as you can see here, it's building the peaks. Now there is one more step you're going to want to do, especially if you're going to use this process for your editing. Because if you look here, if you grab a hold of this video file and you go to move it, oh, the audio doesn't come with it. Uh, there's a very simple fix to that. You drag and drop this back so that way it snaps into place so these two files are together. Now as you can see, the video is already highlighted. So I'm going to hold down my control button on my keyboard. I'm going to select the audio files so that way they're both selected. Now this means that they're both selected here but that's not going to actually lock them into place because if you actually click off of this and try to move it, again, they're not in sync. So to leave them in sync, you just highlight them both using the control key on your keyboard. You're going to right click on them and then you're going to come down here to group and you're going to create new. This is going to group these two files together so if you click off of them to where they're not highlighted but then you try to move them, they're both in sync together. And then all you got to do is start your rendering pro or your editing process, get everything up for a render, render down into a new file and you have a perfectly usable uh, video to upload to your social media websites or to your DVDs or whatever it is you're trying to do. Game capturing, uh, TV capturing, whatever it is you're using, the Colossus Hopog card for, this is a fix for it if you're having issues with the audio coming into Sony Vegas. And I'm currently using Sony Vegas 64-bit uh, version 11.0. And I even tried version 13, and uh, the audio issue was still there with this card. So this is an easy fix. It's a quick fix. And depending on the processing speed of your computer, uh, rendering the audio down into a new file takes zero time whatsoever, and it's a lot better than trying to re-render the entire video. I hope if you had any problems with your Colossus card with uh, Sony Vegas, I hope that this video helped you out. If it did, give us a like. Subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of great gaming content coming up here pretty quickly uh, with some of the new games that are coming out for the PS4. And we also have some classic PS2 and PS1 titles that we are working on right now to add to our channel. Thank you for watching, and I hope this helped you guys out a lot.